Hey everybody, welcome back. This is what happens when petty is your love language. Petty is my love language. Let me know what your love language is in the comments below. Welcome, and please join me on the most petty passive aggressive thing I have ever done in my entire Ugh. life. On the first day of school of sixth grade, my daughter was in the lunchroom, and at this point, they are still having assigned seats because of these COVID rules. She forgot to ask to get up to throw away an orange, and there was a new face in the cafeteria that she did not recognize. Immediately, as my child dropped the orange in the trash, the lady scolded her and said, You need to ask before you get out of your seat. So the lady picks the orange out of the trash, puts it in my daughter's hand, and makes her have a seat. A couple weeks later, okay. I get a call home, and it turns out to be this lady. I have deemed her the orange lady. <laughs> and as she calls, she's asking me, are there behavior issues going on with your daughter at home? Is there something wrong? And as I'm trying to piece this together going, who are you? Because the school just hired this new behavior specialist. I'm realizing it's the orange lady. So who I thought was a random lunch lady turns out to be the school's new behavior specialist. So on the very first day of lunch, she basically forces my child to take something she had discarded in the trash and take it back to her seat. The school year went on, and the lady continued to berate her and her group of friends. She would follow her around the hallways while she was going to the bathroom. It never ended. So eventually, I get sick of it, and I decide, how can I thank her for her amazing abilities and everything <laughs> she has poured into my child this year? This was her last year in elementary school, where we are. It goes up until sixth grade, so it would be the last thing I did before I left this building. So I made this beautiful basket, you guys. <laughs> Literally, the green really went well with the orange. Wow. As you saw, I got the bag. I tied it up. I mean, I really did a 10 out of 10 here. And so then here I was delivering it. The last time I walked in the building, I grabbed my kid. We walked it in, and we placed it on the table, and we just told her thank you. She actually thought it was going to be a nice gift, but when she realized what was happening, it was great. You should have put it in the garbage and made her pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Imagine the biggest bully in school being like a teacher. Being like a behavioral specialist. And the root of her issues with your daughter is that she went and threw an orange in the trash. Am I the only one who thought you should have just sent orange peels? <laughs> That's also good. I also really like that too. I love this. You're not as petty as me though. I would have used a little trash can as a basket so she'd have to pull them out of there. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, this looks so nice that I don't even know if she's gonna clock that you're trying to get a little slice of petty pie. Should have got her a get better soon because you know she not sick, but you hope she just does better. Get better at your job soon. Go back to school soon. <laughs> Orange, you glad these are not from the trash. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. All right, we have a part two. I need to know her reaction. We walked into the school. I wanted to film, but I'm just like, that's too much. And I feel like I do have to respect people's privacy at some level. So we walk into the school. My kid is like holding the basket because it for sure needs to come from my kid, right? Like, what better way to present it? <laughs> so um, the secretary like calls her up, like just nonchalant, like, yeah, sure. I can grab her for you. So my kid's like holding this basket. I'm like, hold it down like under the f desk. So she comes around the corner. When she comes around the corner, my kid lifts the basket in her face, the orange lady's face. <gasps> it lights up. Like, she's so f lighted. And it's like she knows it's us, right? And she's like, hi! Like, thinking maybe she's going to get this end-of-the-year great send-off. These lights, uh, lights up and, um... Then, um, I'm like, tell her thank you. And my kid's like, thank you for a great year. Or something like that, or... Thank you. And then once she, like her eyes like focus in that it's a basket of oranges and varying sizes, she's like, and I was like, I just wanted in this way, I just wanted to tell you thank you for such an amazing year. We will never forget you. And then I hand her the thank you card and she's just like, and then I'm like, come on. And we walk out of the office.
And that's her reaction. Oh, period. Yes, mama. Oh, my goodness. I love a petty parent, you know? Like, I love a petty parent who takes matters into her own hands or his hands. I want to hear from the parents because y'all have some really funny things to say. I was reading through some comments of like comebacks that you guys say to your kids when they're brats. Hilarious. So from the parents, I want to know in the comments, what is the pettiest thing you've done for your child? My little petty potatoes. Okay, allura. So my deadbeat cousin calls me and she says um, she needs help to pay for her mom's cremation because, you know, my auntie passed away and I like her, not her daughter. Anyways, and I'm like, well, when do you need her cremated? She goes, today. Wait a second. So we need to cremate her today? Like, what? what's the rush? <laughs> she ain't going anywhere. I'm sure there's probably some of you who will be like, but Charlotte, we need to cremate right away. Otherwise, it's Okay, I'm not an expert on cremation. To me, it's like, what? what's the rush? What is the rush? That was a bit dark. You liked it. I don't get paid till tomorrow, so I can't put my part um, in till tomorrow. So can you please pay for everything and I will pay you back tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. So I get to the cremation place because I, wanna, I want re like the receipt and all that given to me. That way she pays me back, right? So I get her mom cremated. And she goes, thank you, um, I'll pick her up tomorrow from you. And I'm like, okay, just send me the money first, okay? So anyways, the next day comes and um, I'm off and I message her, I was like, hey, um, do you have my money? And she goes, I'm so sorry, I thought I was getting paid tomorrow, but it's not till the following week. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, so you can get your mom back the following week. And she goes, are you being for real right now? And I'm like, you owe me money, and I'm not going to give you a service that I paid for that you're not going to pay me back. And she's <laughs> like, at this point, it's like you're holding my mom hostage. And I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, I'm treating her nice. We went to Walmart um, just now, and I, I took a picture of, of her mom, like, in the urn, um, <laughs> in a seatbelt and everything. I was like, Annie is chilling, you know? Like, anyways, now she has my mom that is alive, calling me, going, you Period. can't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, none of y'all helped her out with money, and because <laughs> I did it now, I, no, that's that's my property. My auntie is my property. Uh, if her daughter wanted back, she could pay me back. It's almost been a week and a half, and I'm still waiting. <clears throat> I'm thinking about bringing her to court. I don't think you can take her to court if you are withholding her ashes. I think that you'd be able to take her to court if she didn't pay you back the money that she agreed to pay you back. Not a lawyer, but I'm not sure this can go to court if you're being petty about it. It's funny, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure a judge is gonna like this. <laughs> well, to be fair, my cousin did say, can she do like a payment plan where she can pay me like $200 a month? And I'm like, no, when she was being cremated, uh, they didn't ask if I could do a payment plan. Period. They didn't burn her little by little. <laughs> And at this point, starting tomorrow, every day she doesn't take, um, pays me back. She's losing a teaspoon of her mother. I'm going to pour it down the, uh, well, not the, down the sink because she was a good Annie. But like, you know, like in the trash or in the toilet, you know, some are more respectable. Okay. Okay. Now that's petty, okay? That, that's, that's a hill you're willing to die on. No pun intended. Did the, was that a pun? Was that a pun, Charlotte? Was it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's about death and this is about death. And I'm making jokes about death because I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't think that you're going to be able to take this to court, babes. I don't really like that you want to punish your aunt. You can keep her safe. How about that? You can keep her until <laughs> your cousin decides to pay you back, okay? I was with you until the teaspoon part. Honestly, yeah, that, yeah. I know you're joking. I hope you're joking. I hope you're joking, but. Mm -mm. In the trash or the toilet somewhere more respectable. <laughs> right, right, yeah, okay, okay. 
Why did she have to ask for a payment plan when she claimed to have the money for you the following day? I'm on your side, teaspoon and all. Because she was never going to pay you back, babes. Was never going to pay you back. Let's also keep in mind, though, that, like, her mom died. So, like... We like being petty, but only when it's, you know... Not as mean. <laughs> Am I wrong in thinking it's a little mean? Like, it is a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, 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 okay. Moving on! Oh god, oh god, there's an update. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm really afraid of how this is gonna turn out. Here's part two. As you know, my cousin owes me 5k for the cremation of her- Oh, that's a lot of money. Who has passed. Rest in peace, hallelujah. But she has not paid me a dime. Not yet. And I already told her I'm taxing her if she does not give me uh, my money by getting rid of a teaspoon of her mother. And I didn't throw it down the sink, guys. I was just being dramatic. I literally just dumped it over the balcony and let the wind carry it. But she says she's gonna have all my money by New Year's and she wants it, um, the entire amount of her mom. And I'm like, girl, I got you. Now between us friends, I blocked her since we had that conversation. And I need to get the weight right. Because did you know when someone cremates you, they like weigh your ashes? Yeah. Fun fact. So... Are you just gonna replace her with something? Wait, 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 wait. Are you just gonna pop something else in there? Like some salt or something? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus! Just go to the beach and pop some sand in there and mix it around! <laughs> this is great, great. Petty really is your love language, eh? I've been thinking all day how I was gonna do it. I didn't wanna like just mix random ashes <laughs> with my auntie because she was a good woman. So I got pages out of her favorite book. Well, a page out of her book just to like burn it and then I put the ashes in there. And before y'all get on me, it wasn't any random book. It was made by her favorite author, Jesus. Oh! 316 to be exact. Because by the end of this, God is going to forgive her, me, and everyone that had a hand in this. But before I leave, I want to leave y'all with this. What is with this victim mentality calling me a monster? You know, if, if you loan $5,000 to a mobster that's it y'all y'all you know that right and when one thing about me is if 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 i lend you money i'm gonna get my mother money it's not gonna be like she never paid me back and before y'all go why don't you go to small um why don't you go to uh court for small claims i do not have the time to be doing all that you know i i'm home cooking cleaning washing my dogs and going to work i don't want to be like giving up t precious time from me to go to f court. So I can make her look like an idiot, get paid in like two, three months. Y'all got me f I want my money now. It's my money and I want it now. And I'm gonna handle it as petty as I can. So every day <laughs> you still lose a teaspoon and I'll just put a new page of her favorite scripture or like a scripture, you know what I mean? Why do we gotta be taking it out on the dead ant, you know? Like, at least put her in the ocean is something romantic. Okay, that's honestly probably one of the pettier things I've heard. <laughs> you, sir. Are a petty prince. Why don't you put the teaspoons of ashes in another container? Yeah, you could be keeping the, t the teaspoons. Like, especially if she doesn't know that you're getting rid of the teaspoons, you know? Like, I feel that, like, that extra step is not necessary. <laughs> Lord, Jesus, take the wheel. So I came across petty TikTok today. Why did this woman steal this man's microwave plate? Like literally the little microwave plate that spins around, you know, to evenly cook your food. She took it from his house. Okay, but like, where do you even get those plates from? Like you kind of have to like buy an entirely new microwave to get that plate. You know, that's ingenious. Like if you really want to mess with somebody, you take their microwave plate. <laughs> Especially if they have one of those like microwaves that's in the wall. Can you even get microwave plates? Hang on, microwave plates replacement. Okay, you can, you can. This is far less fun than I thought it was going to be, damn. <laughs> and this man was so mad. And you know what I thought to myself? This is exactly why it's a good thing that I'm single. Because the thing, the plan I concocted in my head 
to get at someone with minimal effort but to be as inconvenient as possible i thought to myself you know what i think what i would do is i would take all the light bulbs out of someone's house because do you know how inconvenient it is to have to replace a light bulb imagine having to replace every single light bulb and you can't even properly investigate because you don't have any lights oh to be no with. oh no so you're just walking through the house like what the hell my lights aren't working you can't turn them on, so you can't really Oh, see. that's ingenious. I mean, I'm sure eventually they would figure it out. But I just think it's very effortless, and it's very petty. You, you've got a point, babes, because, like, to replace a light bulb, you kind of got to have the light bulb that burnt out so you know what to replace. But if you don't have that, I feel like you got to get, like, an electrician or something. Or, like, just... trial and error oh i like that i like that i just feel bad for the next person who decides to waste my time and or break my heart because i'm not gonna do any psycho crazy stuff you sure really would have but me i just be doing petty shit. you want to play games <laughs> and waste my time i'm gonna play games and waste your time by stealing all your damn light bulbs <laughs> oh my goodness i gotta say that's pretty ingenious i had this light bulb go out in my kitchen it just like we just never got around to it it took like literally four months to replace and that was one light bulb we could not find the right one and then we just gave up and didn't have a light in the kitchen but imagine that happening to your entire house there would be a sense of urgency to replace those lights for sure i think for maximum petty we got to make sure that they come home to a dark house have to live by candlelight for a while <laughs> like the middle ages Take all the forks. Use his name, address, phone to sign him up for car insurance quotes. Oh, yes. Yes, bestie. Yes. Subscribe him to every damn marketing email that you can think of. When I got divorced, I took all the remotes. <laughs> oh, yeah? You love those remotes? You love, you love the TV more than me? No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, now you can't have that either. My sister took all the paper off the canned goods. <laughs> Jesus. I took a TV remote and would sneak close enough to the house and turn the TV off. <laughs> he would have to get off the couch and turn it back on every single time. It's kind of like when you live in a condo building and someone close to you has the like same TV. That happened to me. And I was living next door to someone that had the same TV remote and like my remote would turn his on and off and his, <laughs> his would turn mine on and off. And it was a while before we realized what was going on. I just thought that I had a ghost in my house. Ladies, the next time you get into an argument in a car with your man and you know they about to drop you off and you know how they do that thing where they don't look at you because they already expect for you to slam their car door. No, no, no. We're not slamming car doors. We're going to get out and leave it open. <laughs> so he got to look over and be like, why I ain't hear my car door slam? And now not only you got to look over and acknowledge the fact that you chose the higher road and the low road at the same time, because now you got to get out and close his door. Shofa. Right, because he's supposed to open the door for you. Even when he's mad. Even when you're mad. All right, it's been a petty ride, but we're not done yet. We're definitely not done yet. Story time. As two grown-ups, if we have beef, understand we have beef. What we're not fixing to do is involve our children or our families in that beef because when it comes to my kids, I will be petty AF and I will smile in my mugshot. <laughs> I don't think that it is breaking news that I can be a little opinionated and a little standoffish. And that can rub some people the wrong way, especially very soft, gentle parents. <laughs> we live in a relatively small town. and Over the Christmas break, our kids got a little stir crazy. So I took them to a trampoline park. And when we got there, little man is just flipping out. He's like, Dad, all my friends are here. There's Sarah Beth. There's Emily. There's Doug. There's TJ. Wow, everybody here. This is going to be great. Now I start thinking to myself, did I miss a birthday invite? No, we just weren't invited to the party. But the very caring mama who disagreed with some of the things I said at the PTA meeting wanted to make sure that my nine-year-old understood he wasn't invited to the party. No, no, no. They, they're here for the party, so you're, you're going to have to play over there. Well, this is legitimately 
the whole class. And this is ah. a public place. So I probably would have been nice if you would have been Period. Nice. Since she wanted to make sure that my son felt left out, I'm going to make sure that you don't forget about <laughs> this. I've already committed to spending money today. I'm going to make sure that him and his friends have a good time. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Who wants to play laser tag? <laughs> zip line. Let's do the zip line. Everybody, let's do the zip line. She is freaking out. That's that's not on the party package. Oh, I know it's not on the party package. Don't worry about it. I got it. The kids want to have fun. Who wants cotton candy? <laughs> oh, you, you got one pizza for 15 kids. That ain't going to work. Let's do three or four more pizzas. Uh, can we get some pictures of soda? These kids have all been in the same class since kindergarten. These are the kids who had to go through COVID together. So we all know each other. The other parents are now realizing that Logan wasn't invited and I'm doing all of this. Shout out to the other dads who realized that we weren't invited and did the same thing <laughs> that we did. Who wants to play video games? Let's get some video <laughs> game cards. Because here's the thing that so many people don't understand in this world. It's okay for us to disagree. We don't have to get along, but we can still be civil. Period. And the last thing you're gonna do is make my kid feel like the bad guy for something that I did. I love that I've made you mad enough that you want to take it out on a neighborhood, <laughs> but I love that I'm going to live rent-free in your kid's head for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm still going to stand behind what I said at the PTA meeting. If you don't want your kid looking at something, be a parent and tell them no. But little man's birthday is coming up soon, and even though we don't get along, look for your invite in the mail. That's what's up, kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness. And he's got a point, all right? Like, I think everybody's a little obsessed with getting along, okay? We don't all have to like each other. I don't like most people, truthfully. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. But I can still find it within myself to be civil, to be kind, cost nothing. Okay. We also shouldn't be teaching our children that it's okay to exclude people. Like, it's just like they're kids. We gotta be setting an example. Okay. All right, we got one more. One more. And I promise it's good. I have to tell this story because sometimes trying to be petty ends up not working in your favor. <laughs> My coworkers are trying to be petty. They have beef with um, someone who works at a different location. So they decided that they're gonna send his team lead some cookies, um, just surprise her, tell her how great of a job she's doing because this guy just really doesn't do much and never appreciates her. So she was like, let's send them, so her, her specifically some cookies, just her. And so apparently yesterday, girl at this other location, not in office, not in office. So they deliver the cookies and guess who gets the cookies? the person that they're all trying to be petty around <laughs> to show like, oh, we are specifically not getting you manager cookies. We're giving your lead cookies. <laughs> he gets the cookies. <laughs> and this man, this man opens the card, reads the card to know that these cookies do not belong to him. They belong to his team lead lady. What does he do? He, he takes them. said cookies, puts them out in their break room, for everyone to have because this lady's not here today was not there yesterday sorry lady was not there yesterday so he took her specific cookies that everyone was trying to That's be petty and sent to her so he could send a message and distributed them to everybody oh okay checkmate this checkmate. is why you can't be petty with everyone because sometimes that petty come right back around and bites you in the it does it does <laughs> that man said Reverse Uno, Uno <laughs> out. So y'all ain't about to play me. <laughs> Honestly, I love a good petty revenge, but it's even better if like they have no idea why, <laughs> why it's happening to them. You know, like being petty and having them know that you're being petty just makes them want to be petty. But if they have absolutely no idea why certain things are happening to them, <laughs> that's even better, even better. The get quality time, gifts, and words of affirmation. Petty is my love language. Subscribe.